His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, following the demise of the Chief of Kuwait National Guard, His Highness Sheikh Salem Al Ali Salem Al Mubarak Al Sabah. His Majesty expressed his heartfelt condolences to the, His Highness the Emir and prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in vast paradise and grant a Sabah family solace and fortitude. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Al Hussein of Jordan following the demise of the former Prime Minister of Jordan, Zayd Samir Al Rafai. His Majesty expressed his heartfelt condolences to the Jordanian monarch and the family of the deceased and the people of Jordan. His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace and grant his family solace and fortitude. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Skhir Palace the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, the BOC, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, as well as His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of His Highness's return from France after attending the 2024 Paris Olympics, where the Kingdom achieved a historic global accomplishment by by winning two gold, one silver, and one bronze medals in various games. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for his distinguished work in serving Bahraini sports and launching initiatives that support the youth and sports sector in the kingdom. His Majesty also praised His Highness's achievements in various sports and his continued efforts to enhance the kingdom's status in various sporting events. His Majesty praised the unprecedented historic achievement made by the Kingdom in the Paris Olympics, which is added to the series of honorable sporting achievements of the Kingdom, which consolidate Bahrain's status on the world sports map. His Majesty praised the efforts and support of the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work and youth affairs and chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Khalid, which motivated Bahraini athletes to make these achievements in the Olympics and ascend podiums. His Majesty thanked and congratulated the athletes who raised the status of the kingdom and hailed their distinguished performances and high spirits in the competitions. His Majesty also hailed the efforts of the GSA and the BOC and all who contributed to achieving these honorable results. His Majesty also praised the continuous development of Bahraini sports and the qualitative achievements made by the determination of the people of Bahrain, which are a source of pride. His Majesty affirmed the keenness to continue providing support for the Bahraini youth to continue their march of successes in all youth and sporting events. His Majesty wished His Highness Sheikh Nasser, His Highness Sheikh Khalid and all Bahraini youth further success in upcoming participation to continue their achievements and serve the Kingdom. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at a ceremony held at Skhir Palace the credentials of 14 new ambassadors to Bahrain. The ceremony was attended by His Highness the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee and his children, and the Minister of the Royal Court, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, the Chief of Royal Protocol, and the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs. The ambassadors had arrived at Skhir Palace and were received by the Chief of Royal Protocol.
سفير جمهورية زامبيا سفير جمهورية اتحاد بينمار سفير سنغافورة سفير جمهورية أنغولا سفير مملكة بلجيكا سفير البوسنة والهرسك سفير الجمهورية الهيلينية سفير الاتحاد السويسري سفير جمهورية الاكوادور سفير جمهورية رواندا سفير مملكة بوتان سفير جمهورية بنين سفير جمهورية أرمينيا سفير جمهورية فنلندا His Majesty the King then delivered the following speech.
ونتمنى لكم لهذه المناسبة فترة عمل مثمرة مليئة بالإنجاز حيث سنحرص خلالها على تقديم كافة أوجه الدعم والمساندة لتحقيق ما نرجوه معا من تقارب وتعاون مشترك كما أوصيكم جميعا بنقل تحيات الشخصية إلى أصحاب الجلالة والفخامة الذين نكن لهم كل تقدير ومودة ومحبة وختاما نتمنى لكم المزيد من التوفيق في مهامكم ودوام الصحة والعافية السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته his Majesty the King exchanged with the new ambassadors welcoming statements hailing the strong relations between Bahrain and their countries and the development they reached in all fields. His Majesty wished them success in performing their diplomatic duties to support friendship and cooperation ties with Bahrain. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's keenness to consolidate its relations with various countries based on mutual respect and joint interest and action for the benefit of all. The ambassadors conveyed to His Majesty the King the greetings and appreciation of their country's leaders and their wishes of abundant health and happiness to His Majesty and further progress and prosperity to Bahrain and its people. They express pride in the ties between their countries and Bahrain at all levels. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Mish'al Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, following the demise of the Chief of Kuwait's National Guard, His Highness Sheikh Salam Al Ali Salam Al Sabah. His Royal Highness also sent two similar cables to the Crown Prince of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Khalid Al Hamad Al Mubarak Al Sabah, and to the Prime Minister of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Ahmed Abdullah Al Ahmed Al Sabah. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein of Jordan following the demise of the former Prime Minister of Jordan, Zayd Samir Rafai. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to the Crown Prince of Jordan, His Royal Highness Prince Hussein bin Abdullah II. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, along with the winners of the four medals and the athletes that represented Team Bahrain at the Paris 2024 Olympics at Sheikh Air Base. His Royal Highness affirmed that Team Bahrain's achievement, as well as the honorable level at which Bahrain competed in the Olympics, is an embodiment of the unwavering support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to the sports 
sector. His Royal Highness emphasized that His Majesty represents the most significant motivation for all Bahrainis to continue achieving successes in the name of Bahrain, which contributes to the kingdom's distinguished position in local, regional and international championships. His Royal Highness congratulated the winners on their medals and emphasized that the royal directives and visions for the kingdom's sports sector motivate Bahrain's athletes. He commended Team Bahrain's passion for achievements and limitless ambition, which has enhanced the kingdom's standing in sports. He commended all those from Bahrain and Arab nations who supported Team Bahrain at the Olympics. He noted that these impressive results elevate Arab accomplishments in the Olympics and international competitions. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed gratitude for His Royal Highness's unwavering support for the kingdom's sports sector and athletes, as well as his commitment to solidifying the kingdom's competitiveness in the sports sector. Bahrain's participation in the Paris 2024 Olympics concluded with a historic sporting achievement, as the names of Bahrain's champions were inscribed on the Olympic honor roll, including runner Winfred Yavi, gold in the women's 3,000 meter steeplechase, wrestler Ahmed Tajuddin, gold in the 97 kilogram category, runner Salwa Eid, silver in the women's 400 meter, and weightlifter Gore Minasian, bronze in the over 201 kilogram category. Bahrain secured a total of eight Olympic medals in its 11 participations, including four golds, three silvers, and one bronze. By the end of the Paris Olympics, Bahrain ranked first among Arab nations and 33rd globally out of approximately 204 participating countries. It previously ranked 77th in the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, 48th in the Rio 2016 Olympics, and 50th in the London 2012 Olympics. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and several senior officials were also in attendance. The Attorney General Dr. Ali bin Fadl al-Ba'inin issued Resolution 34 of 2024 to form a committee to investigate electoral crimes and follow up on the complaints related to violations affecting the electoral process. Dr. Al-Ba'inin affirmed the importance of this committee in taking swift action regarding electoral crimes and related offenses. He added that this resolution reflects the public prosecution's keenness to further enhancing confidence in the electoral process and ensuring respect for the will of voters, which contributes to consolidating the foundations of democracy and political participation. This step comes in light of the public prosecution's commitment to ensuring fair and just elections as the members of the committee were selected for their experience and high competence in this regard. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Maldives, Moussa Zamir. The meeting discussed ways to strengthen relations between the two countries, noting the development they witness in various fields. The Minister affirmed the Kingdom's commitment to enhancing cooperation with the Maldives to serve joint interests. Zamir praised the growing cooperation between the two countries in various fields and the mutual interest in consolidating relations. He wished Bahrain continued progress, development and prosperity. The two sides also discussed ways to enhance cooperation in the economic, commercial and investment fields and increasing consultation at the political level and in international forums. They discussed regional and international developments, particularly the war on Gaza and its humanitarian repercussions. They addressed Arab and international efforts aimed at achieving a ceasefire, protecting civilians, delivering humanitarian aid without obstacles and reducing tensions to preserve regional security and stability. Dr. Zayani reviewed the efforts of Bahrain led by His Majesty the King in light of the Kingdom's presidency of the current Arab summit. He highlighted the constructive decisions and initiatives in the Bahrain Declaration aimed at strengthening Arab cooperation, promoting solidarity, and maintaining regional security and stability, including calling for an international conference to resolve the Palestinian cause based on a two-state solution, supporting the recognition of the State of Palestine and its full UN membership, providing educational and health services to those affected by conflicts, and enhancing Arab cooperation in the financial technology, innovation, and digital transformation. The Chairman of the Legislation and Legal Opinion Commission and Executive Director of the By-Election of the Representatives Council, Chancellor Nawaf Hamza, stated that the list of candidates for the by-election in the first constituency of the Mahara Governorate are displayed for three consecutive days, applications open for objections, and appealing for decisions of the Supervisory Committee regarding these applications before the competent court at the Supervisory Committee headquarters at Psaitin Intermediate Girls School. According to the law, anyone who applied for candidacy and whose name does not appear in the 
the list for constituency in which he applied for has the right to request the supervisory committee to include his name among the candidates list or to object the inclusion of any name of any candidates in the same constituency provided that the committee shall decide on the request for inclusion or objection within three days from the date of its submission and failure to issue its decision within that deadline shall be considered a rejection. The concerned party has the right to appeal the committee's decision to reject the candidacy no later than three days from the date of its issuance before the High Civil Court of Appeals and the court decides on this appeal within seven days from the date of filing the lawsuit with a final decision that cannot be appealed. If a candidate objects to another candidate and the competent supervisory committee approves the objection request and then removes their name from the candidate list, the concerned party may appeal the committee's decision to the High Civil Court Appeals no later than three days from the date of issuance of the committee's decision. The number of voters in the first constituency reached 11,903. The Minister of Labor, Jamil Hamidan, and the Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan Tawfiqi, attended the celebration organized by the Ministry of Youth Affairs at Youth City 2030 for the International Day of Youth. More on this report. The Minister of Labor, Jamil Hamidan, affirmed that Youth City 2030 supports young Bahraini talent and prepared them and qualified them for the work and production amid the Kingdom's comprehensive development process. He praised the activities organized by the Youth City 2030 to refine young people's skills and develop their knowledge, support them in choosing their future professions according to their preference. The minister stressed that holding a career fair and dialogue programs on sustainable development and labor market requirements aligns with the Ministry of Labor's efforts in career counseling to accelerate young people's integration into private sector institutions. The minister added that the city contributed to discovering young and emerging talents and enhancing their abilities to excel. He praised the Youth Affairs Ministry for organizing these events annually, expressing admiration for the youthful vitality and interaction observed in the programs at Youth City 2030. The Minister of Labor and the Minister of Youth Affairs toured eight stations prepared for International Youth Day, highlighting the youth's role in promoting awareness on digital transformation through development path and innovation, while showcasing success stories by Bahraini youth. The Under Secretary of the Ministry of Works, Engineer Sheikh Mish'al bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, affirmed that the ministry began implementing three development projects in the Al Mahzura and Al Hajiyat areas in Rafah and the Southern Governorate. These projects aim to improve the flow of traffic by increasing the capacity of the streets and facilitating the movement of citizens and residents. In addition, modernizing and developing rainwater drainage networks and enhancing infrastructure components with high specifications to ensure their quality and sustainability. He stated that the projects consist of developing Al Mahzura Street, 37th Street, and Al Hajiyat Street. He pointed out that the project include developing Al Hajiyat Street and the roundabout located on Al Hajiyat and Jeddah Streets. The Ministry of Industry and Commerce launched an awareness and consumers campaign targeting the commercial sector, citizens and residents of Bahrain. The campaign coinciding with the back-to-school season is titled with the back-to-school season you see us here. The ministry said that the launch of this campaign reflects its keenness to creating a consumer environment characterized by trust, transparency and sustainability, while enhancing the principles of consumer protection in Bahrain's local markets. And to speak more about this, we are joined over the phone by the Director of Consumer Protection at the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, Engineer Antisar Abdel Al. Hello and welcome, Ms. Antisar. Can you tell us about the awareness and monitoring campaigns launched by the Ministry in conjunction with the back to school season? Yes, thank you so much for this opportunity. And yes, uh, the Ministry of Industry and Commerce in the Kingdom of Bahrain has launched an awareness campaign under the title of with the back to school season, we are here. The goal of this campaign is uh, to raise awareness and monitor commercial practice during the back to school season. Uh, addition to that, the campaign aims to prevent complaints about business practice by providing consumers and commercial sector with knowledge about their rights and duties in the consumer protection field. It also includes uh, the rights procedure for smart and sustainable shopping practice uh, that includes uh, budgeting, uh, return and exchange policies, warranties and pricing. 
And can you tell us about the efforts exerted by the directorates of the ministry regarding the back-to-school season? Um, yes, uh, the Consumer Protection Directorate collaborates with the Inspection Directorate at the Ministry of Industry and Commerce to ensure a safe and reliable shopping environment for consumers during the back-to-school season. Uh, the Consumer Protection Team focuses on safeguarding consumers' rights and preventing exploitation through awareness messages, as well as licensing for a promotional and discounts campaign. Uh, on the other hand, uh, the inspection team plays a control role in the field by ensuring the validity of commercial activities uh, practiced by the retailers in the local market and ensuring the transparency of announced prices of goods and services. Uh, this contributes uh, to ensure uh, a safe and secure shopping experience. Uh, also, we would like in this opportunity, um, we say that the Ministry of Industry and Commerce invite the public to take advantage of the back-to-school season uh, campaign by visiting the Ministry of Industry and Commerce social media accounts. We wish you further success in your campaigns and the back-to-school season. Director of Consumer Protection at the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, Engineer Antisar Abdelal, thank you for joining us. The Labor Market Regulatory Authority implemented 750 campaigns and inspection visits during the period from August 4th to the 10th of 2024. The campaigns resulted in the arrest of 55 violating and irregular workers, while the number of deportees during the same period reached 196 violations. The authority added that 734 inspection visits were carried out to various commercial stores in all governorates, in addition to 16 joint inspection campaigns, including 10 campaigns in the Capital Governorate, two campaigns in Amhara Governorate, three campaigns in the Northern Governorate and one campaign in the Southern Governorate. The LMRE pointed out that the campaigns witnessed the participation of a number of parties, including the Ministry of Interior, represented by the Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs, the Security Directorates and the Governorates, the General Administration for the Implementation of Alternative Sentences, the Coast Guard and the Capital Municipality. Bahrain's permanent representative to the UN, Ambassador Jamal Rawai'i, participated in a high-level UN Security Council meeting. The ambassador, speaking on behalf of the Arab group, underscored the need for genuine and comprehensive reform of the Security Council. He emphasized the importance of strengthening the participation of Arab and African countries, contributing to drafting UN resolutions and peacekeeping, and coordinating Arab and African efforts at all levels regarding the work of the Security Council, especially among non-permanent members, whose membership in the Council overlaps with the aim of enhancing the credibility of the Security Council, as well as ensure that all issues on the Council's agenda are addressed in a balanced manner, especially those related to Africa and the Middle East, especially the Palestinian cause. He stressed that the 33rd Arab Summit held in Bahrain called on the Security Council to assume its responsibility towards maintaining international peace and security and to implement its resolutions related to a permanent ceasefire in Gaza and to prevent the crisis from worsening and expanding the war in the Middle East. The Takamil program, which is launched by the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, aims to enhance the cooperation between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and treat products in both countries as one. More on this report. The local value program in industry Takamul aims to enhance a reciprocal in-country value, the ICV, of industrial products. The initiative aims to treat Bahraini products as Saudi products and local government procurement in Saudi Arabia. Saudi establishments can include their products in the Bahraini Takamal program to enhance preference for local products and government procurement. This initiative supports economic growth by enhancing the ICV of local industrial products and increasing supply chain efficiency. The main, uh, the main idea behind uh, the Saudi uh, factories uh, to be able to take part in this initiative is for them to apply through the Ministry of Industry and Commerce's website uh, um, or get in touch um, in the dedicated, uh, with us on the dedicated um, hotline, uh, 17111303, to be able to uh, uh, submit their applications online through our uh, portal. Uh, the first thing they need to do is to get their ICV report, the in-country value uh, reports done.
uh, by um, uh, a certified audit firm and upload uh, basically uh, uh, the ICV audited uh, report on our website then uh, uh, um, whereby we'll be issuing the, the ICV or the Takamal certificate that they can use um, in, in government tenders. Um, from the Bahraini side, as long as Bahraini factories qualify for the Saudi rules of origin, uh, they would be able to directly uh, participate in Saudi government tenders. The program aims to strengthen the economic partnership between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and supporting national industries and encouraging economic diversification as well as attract investments in priority sectors, promoting GDP growth and achieving sustainable development goals. The program also encourages private sector institutions to increase productivity, innovation and competitiveness, enabling them to export their products in international markets and achieve comprehensive economic development for the region. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef.